Welcome back, everyone. Here's a look at our first alert day track over the lake of the Ozarks. And we had a lot of cloud cover today, even a few raindrops. But we'll bring it back on the side and talk about where's the rain right now across mid-Missouri. And really, there's not a lot of rain out there. A few showers here in uh, Callaway County, a little bit off to our west, in uh, Montgomery and Gasconade County. But besides that, most of the rain is out of the area for tonight. Temperatures at this hour, really not too bad. We're still in the upper 70s in most spots, a few lower 70s in Lynn and Rolla. But uh, right here in mid-Missouri, not really feeling too bad. Right now at the regional airport, we're sticking at temperature of 78 degrees. Lots of cloud cover, though, and uh, that's going to stick around through the evening hours. Humidity is still up there at 79%, so still a muggy feel to the atmosphere, but soon we're going to start to push out some of that humidity. On the surface map tonight, what's going on? Well, right now we have Tropical Storm Isaac pulling itself together right off the uh, coast of Florida. And what's going to happen here is I'll show you, this has the potential to really affect our weather late in the week. Right now it's about to emerge into the Gulf of Mexico. And what's going to end up happening here is I'll show you, there's really not a good handle. Where is this storm really going to go? You can see these are our called spaghetti plots. It really it plots where the different computer models think this storm is going to go. But it's a very widespread. What's going to happen is if this storm keeps moving off to the west and makes landfall somewhere near uh, Louisiana or Texas, we have a good shot of seeing this move up toward our area. If it makes landfall farther off to the east, that's going to go up into the uh, Ohio River Valley, and we have no chance of seeing any rain from that. Here's the projected path from the National Hurricane Center. It looks like it'll make a landfall as a Category 2 right now, right around New Orleans. And if it makes landfall on Wednesday, like we're predicting, That'll be the seventh anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. So uh, there's a familiarity there with those people, and they really aren't looking forward to that. Now, this can change a lot here in the next uh, few days. And of course, we'll kind of hone in on when that's going to hit us, if it will. And if it will, we'll see some rain out of it. For us, though, tonight, this cold front's going to move out of the area, and we're really going to shape up pretty nicely here as uh, rain moves out of the area. A few clouds here by the time we wake up in the morning. Really not a big deal. Uh, really, we didn't see much rain, and rain chances are coming to an end. But look at this, by the time we get into your afternoon tomorrow, sunshine. It's really going to be a nice day. Temperatures are going to warm up into the upper 80s. We'll recap the forecast here for tonight and uh, really not going to be too bad. Still muggy out there and uh, a few lingering showers here, but those are going to move on out. And I think we've dropped down to the upper 60s. Tomorrow, 89 degrees, lots of sunshine in the afternoon. Morning clouds, though, so we'll keep the clouds in the morning. We'll move them on out. Southwest winds will help us move them up to near 90. Here's a look at our five-day forecast, the first three days here. And what you'll notice is really not a lot going on here for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. All in all, it looks pretty nice. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is when we could see that potential for Hurricane Isaac to affect our area. So if it does, we'll start to see a little bit more rain activity. Right now, I threw a few extra clouds in there on Friday and just a few chances for rain on Saturday. Uh, we'll we'll you know, kind of hone that forecast here over the next few days, but for the first few days of the work week, everything's looking nice with temperatures right around average. That's a look at your weather here on your Sunday evening.